Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Guillaume. Before I start, I want to remind you that you have to subscribe, like, comment, and you know, support me and my channel because I really forget to do that at the beginning of the video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, really? What are you waiting for? Do that, okay? Thank you. Okay, so this video is going to be a q and I posted this on my Instagram story on March 6th um, that I'm doing an updated Q&A and to ask about everything. It can be about me, life update and so on. So I got some questions and yeah, so today I'm going to answer that and also I want to um, touch on the topic of my posting schedule and the video recommendations that I've gotten so far. And yeah, so that's what we are going to do in this video. I wanted to start off with um, talking about the posting schedule and so on. Um, okay, so basically right now I'm posting every week at Sunday at 5 p.m. in Curacao time. Um, if you didn't know this, that um, I'm doing it for like three weeks already. This is going to be my fourth video, fourth week. And I'm super happy about that. Um, the last time I tried to be consistent on, on YouTube, um, it didn't really fit with my lifestyle at the time. So I feel like now is the time. I'm really like ready to be a YouTuber, basically full time. And I'm so excited for the journey. And yeah, so I hope you are here to support me on that journey. And also, you know, that's why I need you to subscribe and like, you know, support me. Mm -hmm. The next thing I have to talk about is that um, I got some video recommendations. Um, I also posted that on my YouTube channel, um, on my Instagram, sorry. I've gotten a few um, video recommendations, which are how I study a day at school. So like a vlog, I'm not sure about that, but I will work on it. Um, more get ready with me um, about the how I study I really thought about doing that um, I have my exam week in less than a month so I'm going to do that um, try on haul okay you know I'm going to work on it um, because I just came back from Europe I said that I'm not going to order just yet so that's going to wait but I will for sure do that a day in my life I will do that one day um, maybe like in this month you will get that video a night routine I thought about it too I thought about making a TikTok about that but um, I can do a more detailed one on my YouTube too and also more hair videos um, and get ready with me okay so you already know what you can expect um, Basically, I really like making hair videos. I like doing vlogs. Um, oh, I wanted to show you my nails. I think you can see this. Yeah. Um, I thought about doing nail videos too, but I'm not sure. And I think it's really difficult to record and stuff. So I have to think about it. If you are really interested to learn, Maybe I can do that, I can sacrifice something, okay? So, now that I am done with those um, recommendations, um, I'm going to start with the q and &A. I'm so excited because you have a few questions for me and we are going to answer them. So basically, some basic information about me if this is your first time on this channel. My name is Kiyomi Heiliger. As I already mentioned, I'm 22 years old. My birthday is October 3rd. Um, I'm a Libra. Um, I'm a finance and control student at the University of Curacao. I'm in my third year, um, nearly done, basically. I really love fashion. I like doing my hair doing nails, um, I really like beauty stuff, um, what else, like design stuff, like graphic design, I really like, you know, something, things that has to do with my room 
I really like um, creative things, you know, so you will see that on my channel too. Okay, so the first question, where are you? So basically, I live in Curaçao, um, which is an island in the Caribbean. It's near Aruba, if you know Aruba. Um, it's also near Venezuela, so maybe that could help you uh, figure out. It's really beautiful, so you should visit soon, okay? Um, when will you travel to Italy? I don't know, like, I don't know. Maybe this year, maybe next year, I don't know yet. Thinking about that, I really have some places that I would love to visit. Um, I still have some places in Europe that I still want to visit. I just came back from Europe, but I didn't get the chance to visit all the countries that I wanted to. But some of them are Italy, um, Portugal, Greece. I want to visit the UK too. Um, what else? I think those are my... Oh, I want to visit um, Switzerland too. Yeah, I think those are, the, are my tops. Yeah. So yeah, but for now, I really want to travel like in the Caribbean, you know, go to Asia or something. I want to do something different. But if I get a chance to travel to Europe this year, maybe I will take it. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, next one. How do you manage your school works and maintain social life? Do you work um, with planning? Um... Well, this is a good one. How do you manage your school works? Normally, I, I do plan. I have my planner. It's on my bed. But I have a notebook that I basically, basically write everything that I have to do in a day. Because I do that, I feel very satisfied after completing a task. Because then I can, you know, write that I did it. And I think that really helps with my motivation. Um, I'm a person that stresses a lot, um, especially with um, school stuff. And I really want that to, I want to minimize that basically. So that's why I plan and I um, do my best to not leave my school work like before the deadline basically I try to complete my tasks like a week before um, I would say that it's not like that every time but I try um, I try to do that to minimize my stress and to maintain a social life basically I have my group of friends and yeah so we just plan to do something like maybe once or twice a month so I have my people that I basically do everything with and I also have my boyfriend so we normally do most things together so yeah that's basically how I try to manage those two I feel like I don't have that much school stuff to do where I can't even socialize or have a social life so that's not an issue for me the next one is would you see yourself living anywhere that's not in Curacao in the long term well girl yes i do i do oh my god i still have to figure out where though but um i really want to challenge myself and not live here my whole life i want to experience something different like now that i've really experienced living abroad already like in belgium um I want to experience it again, but not when I'm studying. You know, I want to live abroad while working. I have to figure out which country though. I don't know if it, um, it, if it will be in Europe or in Asia. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I have to figure that out, but for sure. And also, I don't know when, but I think maybe in my 30s, I will be in another country. Who knows? God's plan. I trust in God's timing. Oh, okay. Okay, so I got a lot of questions that had to do with um, my Europe experience, Erasmus, blah, blah, blah. So now I'm going to start with them. Like I have a few there. And yeah, 
So the first one, how was Europe? I would say that, that Europe was very nice. It was a nice experience. I really love the vibes. Um, it's something really different compared to Curacao. Um, one thing that I really um, had to get used to was the weather because the summer was not summering. It's not like in Curacao, you know? And I really expect it to be like that, but it's not. Um, it was really fun. I love that you get the chance to travel a lot there, um, maybe also for cheap prices. And yeah, so I really love it. Um, how was studying in Belgium? The studying in Belgium was also very nice. Um, I really loved the school, which is Artevelde. Um, I love that we got to meet a lot of different people there with different backgrounds. I really love the um, program that I followed, which was marketing and events. It was really nice learning something new. Um, I was really motivated because it was something new and I really wanted to explore in that field basically. So it was really, really nice. Okay, do you think of going back to Belgium? That's a good one. Oh my God. Um, I mean, I think I would love to go back there just to explore, keep exploring or something, but not to live there. No, I don't think I would um, want to move there. No, I don't think so. I think that it was um, enough. It was enough. If I go back to Europe, I have to visit Ghent again. I have to visit Belgium again. Like if you see it in that sense, then I would say yes. But to move there, no. Do you have any regrets about your Erasmus in Ghent? Girl, no, no. I try to not to regret anything in life, but girl, this is not something to regret. It was an experience. It was an experience. I got to explore a lot and I learned a lot there. So I wouldn't say that it's something I regret at all. Because then I wouldn't have learned the things that I learned basically. How did you keep yourself motivated while, while in Belgium? Or how did you maintain your motivation? I feel like it was the same as in Curacao. Um, I try to stay motivated because my mindset is basically like you start, you finish, basically. So um, I think that to think that you move to another country for six months um, that's far from your family and to follow school and stuff and then to just give up there. I didn't do all that sacrifice for nothing, you know? So I think that's one of the main motivations. Basically, like, I'm already there, I have to finish, you know? So I don't have another option. And that's the same for me and Curacao too. Like, I don't see it as an option to just give up or just drop out. Because I started and I'm already in my third year, so what's the point of giving up now you know so yeah basically that's um that's what keeping me motivated because um i'm doing it for me i want to achieve big things and i'm working on my goals and i wanted to explore i wanted to be more independent and i did that by going abroad so that's a step to achieve my goal and I wouldn't want to give up on my goals so I hope I really helped you and maybe you could also implement that mindset the last question I have is what do you appreciate about a person or what do you ex about a special person or what do you expect from them um, basically I would love for a special person like I would say my boyfriend my family my friends um, to support me in everything I do basically I really would love to see people support me even if I have dreams that 
you wouldn't see come true maybe like you know support me i know if i have dreams i know that i can achieve them so please just support and that would mean a lot to me for sure so that could be like in sense of you helping me buy equipments i need or just support me by giving me motivation to do the things i want to do um you know give me some tips whatever i really love that and i appreciate that a lot so basically that was my q a that was all the questions i had if you have any other questions for me leave it in the comment and i will just reply to you um i'm really active on my tiktok right now on my tiktok and instagram so if you did not follow me yet what are you doing what are you doing really okay so you have to follow me you have to subscribe like comment like you can comment on my nails you can comment some video suggestions everything okay more questions i don't know just engage with the post okay you will help me a lot um i'm really happy to have you here and i'm really happy to have this journey and basically that's it okay so i hope to see you next sunday at the same time as today okay so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed bye I'm a broke kid, broke kid. I just got home, I was broke.